everybody <clears throat> it's time for another part in my dawn trail run and we've got one last zone to go we're gonna have to say bye to kafkia and uh hopefully smack Aaronville across the head and get him to talk to his mom before she goes but we shall see for now let's go find out what the arrow area looks like so the wind area looks like <clears throat> and see see how much i like it you know Oh, be sure to get your snacks and drinks beforehand, and buckle up. Mmm. Mmm, tea. 
All right, let's get into it. Ba boom. Why are the people there? It's so random. I hope they weren't trying to talk to me, Lamo. <laughs> I would have no idea if they were. <laughs> they probably weren't. They probably teleported near me. <clears throat> Like before, it will be hard, but we must honor Kopkia's wish. Mm. Oh, Aaronville. He's still refusing to talk. Okay. So, this is it. Oh, cutscene, of course. Very good. Probably unvoiced, then, then. <clears throat> as far as I can mm. can I go a little deeper on that? Mm -hmm. as far as I can tell we still have some leeway with the meso terminal meaning you can carry on getting to know the endless in the last zone winds path gardens it's called and it's breathtakingly beautiful <clears throat> That's where your memories are stored, yes? That's right. <clears throat> I left it for last so I could guide you for as long as possible. Very thoughtful of me, yes? <clears throat> oh, a great idea just occurred to me. What might that be? <laughs> I'll save it for after we've arrived on the other side. See you there. Oh? I'm telling you, talk to her. Her great ideas are generally less than great. <laughs> hey, Erinville. As much as I want to grant your mother her wish, I also want to respect yours. When all is said and done, I want you to be happy. Hope you know this. Aww. I know. <sighs> I know. Aww. Kiwa isn't only his mon his mother, she's his mentor as well. That can only make it harder for him to say goodbye. True. <sighs> Let's go. For now, we keep doing what we've been doing. Seeking out Endless and learning what's dear to them. I wonder what it's going to be about. Because, I mean, yeah. Um, the last one was very clearly Milala. The, uh, that was the, the, the fire one. Um, the earth one was children, um, and times of fun and old Alexandria. And kind of felt a little more, uh, uh, hero focused, I guess. So human focused. Mostly because that appears to be, like, the the main... I want to say kind of main race of Alexandria. I, I think that's what their royal family was. And so they kind of tried to represent it a little that way. And it was also right before the fall of Alexandria that they're representing there. So we got more of an Alexandrian background for that. Uh, for fire, it's more of a, hey, Milalas are from the source. So that gave us an idea of that. And then, I'm guessing that the Eldites, the, the Elizen, the Elves, um, I'm guessing they were from a different town originally, because that has a very different style to, um, over in the water area, has a very different style to the Earth area, that was literally old Alexandria. So, I'm, I'm 
I'm curious what this next one will be. Because they only had three races, so I'm wondering if this one's more Turali. But at the same time, I think it's just supposed to be gardens. So I don't know how they would incorporate Tural, yeah? I guess we'll see if there's a s more specific focus than just, like, you know, volcano fighting area, like the Malala area was. <clears throat> we shall see. What could this great idea of Kofkias be? Let's not keep... <clears throat> Let's not keep Kafkia waiting. I have faith in Ernville's inner strength. Aww. It's not... Wait, oh, I did his voice wrong. <clears throat> it's not... Oh. There we go. That's a little better. A little. What do you mean too far away? That's been alright. So far. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> You and my cat's ready to go. <laughs> Greetings and welcome to Wind's Path Garden. Wait. That's not right. Did it skip the first part without me? Bleep, bloop, error, error, verification system initialized. User registration confirmed. <clears throat> Greetings and welcome to Wind's Path Gardens, the sanctuary of exploration and discovery. Marvels of the natural world await you. Uh, the marvels of the natural world await you. I can talk on occasion. Not right now. Anyway, cutscene. Hopefully, I won't need to for a little bit then. Haha. <laughs> oh god. I was so much closer to the zipline. I didn't really realize that before. That's insane. This reminds me of the Labyrinths a little. Damn. Look at us with our superhero landings. <clears throat> yes. If I could have everyone's attention, I know we have pressing business, but I'd like to say a few words. Okay. Before I died, I had two wishes. The first was to see who my Elaneshpia would become. Aww. I would say that wish has been fulfilled. Aww. <clears throat> Indeed, it has. For the boy who once shunned company has returned a somewhat sociable man uh. <laughs> surrounded by wonderful friends as his mother and mentor both I couldn't be more proud Meanwhile, he's brooding like this isn't fair mother <laughs> as for my second wish <laughs> That was to see all manner of nature that I had never seen before. Mm. I hoped to explore every corner of the world and there find thriving life. <laughs> but I didn't even get to see all of Tural, did I? <laughs> Never enough hours in a day, or days in a year, or years in a life. Relatable. Kafkiwa. Oh, don't give me that look. Though, admittedly, I did go and spoil the mood. <laughs> Apologies. I wonder how she died, though. What I was so poorly trying to work up to asking was this. I want you to help me fulfill my second wish. Oh? I have a good feeling about this place. 
There is so much here I've never seen before. I just know it. Aww. We'd love to see it with you. Aww. I thought you might say that. Thank you. Aww. Winspath Gardens is home to a collection of flora and fauna that once thrived on the continent. Like the rest of okay. living memory, I haven't explored it in earnest. Controlling my vessel demanded all of my attention. Oof. Um, they got the little shaman babies. But at long last, I'll get to meet the creatures here. Wrap things up with a perfect little adventure. Hmm. So, shall we? Of course. Absolutely not. Oh, he's going to do it. We're to grant you your wish. And then what? You leave. Oh. You cannot ask that of me. Aww. Oh, Ellen Nespier. Please understand. I just wanted to end on a happy note. Not only for myself, but for all of us. Aww. She's so pretty. Better that than a sad goodbye, surely. Mm, yeah. Hug him or something. Sheesh. He's your son? I'm <laughs> very like Kapiwa. Chase her dreams to the last. Let's help Kafkia make some great memories. The Sanctuary of Exploration and Discovery. What fitting that Kafkia's memories are here. Then, with your consent, let's begin our adventure. Naturally, while we go about this, feel free to continue befriending Endless. And be sure to absorb the delightful scenery. <sighs> I need to bleep bloop real quick. Do... Oh, I'll, f I'll finish this quest. Because apparently, I can just turn it... Oh, wait, hold on. Wee! Hee <laughs> that's way too fun. Yeah, I know, I can't turn in with this quest. Uh, or, I mean, turn in this quest with this, uh, quest. Wow, there's so many pretty flowers! No, bad ads. Bad ads. Okay. No. Bad. Oh, that's farther than it appears. I think. Oh, not too bad. Not too bad. Okay. Well, I unlock this area real quick. Um, let me hand in this quest, and then I'll do the bleep bloop. Um, just to make it a little smoother for you guys. Um, <clears throat> someone needs my help with something, though, so I will have to do that in a moment. Oh, what a lovely garden! The scenery here is nothing short of a rem... <clears throat> The scenery here is nothing short of remarkable. To think that Sphine has managed to preserve it for the Endless. 
I somehow anticipated this. <laughs> I thought those things were some sort of enormous tree, but they're actually sculptures. Oh, that's cool. Okay, let's do this cutscene real quick. Oh, of course it's not the list. This particular garden is called Blooms of Discovery. Beautiful, isn't it? Yes. I love it. Oops. Mm hmm It's absolutely stunning. Are they all actual plants? They are indeed. These specimens were brought here hundreds of years ago for conservation, as the Calamity had pushed them to the brink of extinction. Oh, fair. So this area, er, bleh? So this zone is like a great conservatory. Precisely, my dear Kryle. <laughs> here you'll find flora and fauna, the likes of which no longer exist elsewhere. Doesn't the thought just set your heart aflutter? True. <laughs> She's getting to him a little bit. I suppose. Hmm? I expect that some creatures I encountered outside of Tural may have cousins in this world. While I am no expert on life in the reflections, it would make for an interesting study to compare them. True. She got him. Now there's an idea. Leave it to my pupil to think up such. <laughs> <laughs> Here we have not only a world's traversing adventurer and a veteran gleaner, but a pair of Charlayan's finest scholars besides. It's a veritable gathering of inquisitiveness, and I'm thrilled to be a part of it. Fair. Spell speed, spell speed, spell speed, spell speed. Spell! Spell speed! Wait a minute. Remember, if you get my references, comment down below. Alright, let me go ahead and quickly do that bleep boop. Whoops. Alright. I must go and help Sivan. I will return anon. Please be sure to hydrate, eat, stretch, take vitamins, and your medicine, get some sleep if you need to. And then go back and unpause the video when you are ready. Yes. Alright. See you in a moment. Bleep. Bloop. Alrighty, let's get back into this. Uh, let's, let me recap this real quick for myself. <laughs> Your keyboard looks awfully happy, doesn't she? I think I already screenshot these. Oh, wait, no. No, I didn't. These are just different. Okay, cool. Some creatures here do indeed appear to resemble those in Eorzea. Such was the case in the first two. Truth. Actually, at least the treant was also in the first in Lakeland, so that's very, very uh, close. <clears throat> I can't recall the last time my mother was so excited. Aww. Comes to inquisitiveness, I reckon I'm a match for both you and Erinville. I don't know. Maybe, though. In search of discovery. Oh, they're gonna bond a little here. Thank goodness. Hmm? Why is it all tenacity, piety, and spell speed? That's so weird. I'm literally on a range DPS class. You know what I don't need? Exactly. Any of this. Why have these been my options the last two times as well? It's so weird. Are you telling me, like, the last two or three? two quests or something are all gonna be melee related or rather dps related because these these are not 
I mean, spell speed, yeah, r magic range DPS. You can get away with it, but most of it? No. Piety's supposed to be for healer. Tenacity's tank. Spell speed, in this case, I'm thinking healer, but I mean, yeah, it could be magic. I, I am none of that. I am a bard. I am a simple little bard. I mean, simple little. Th Actually, out of curiosity, if I switch to my other level 100, what do you give me? Same options. I figured that was the case, but I also figured I'd check just in case something weird was going on. But no, no. I mean, it's still weird, but it's not as, not as weird as it could have been. Alright, Kafkiwa's eyes sparkle in anticipation of discovery. Hell yeah. I want to compare some of the flora too. To real life as well, actually. <clears throat> To begin with, I'd like you to scout out the vicinity and report back with any points of note. This would be a good opportunity to speak with the locals. They're bound to be familiar with the area, after all. As Elinespia El suggested, it would be an I I Ooh, I can talk, I swear. Oh boy. As Elinespia suggested, it would be interesting to compare the creatures here with those native to the source. I never ventured outside of Tural, so I look forward to your insights. Just leave it to us. I've only ever been to Charlene myself, but I like to think I know interesting when I see it. Well, no. Of everyone, I dare say you've been to the most places. I cannot wait to hear your thoughts. Yeah, I mean, there's the source, there's Aorzea, on the, uh, starting with the source rather, there's Aorzea, Alamigo, um, the Far East, the Near East, the North for Garlemald, the South for Alo Alo. And of course, Tural, and then the first, and the thirteenth. I mean, I've been a few places. I've been a few places. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna screenshot a lot of these so I can look at them more later too. There's so many different flowers. I loved it here. I feel like some of these I've definitely seen before, even if only in like games or pictures or something, but I don't know what all of them are supposed to be. I like how they said, hey, you know what we need to upgrade the flowers. And what did they do with it? They're like flowers everywhere. One of the zones, I don't care where, all flowers. <laughs> oh, goldenrod, isn't it? I'm pretty sure. I should know what this red one is, but it's totally flitted out of my mind. Ah, uh, I know I know it too. I think this one's goldenrod. It looks similar at least. Hmm? Oh wait, this is the same ones that were on the other side. Okay. Oh, it looks like it's a lot of repeats. I'm gonna pout a little on that, actually, because I was hoping for more than just, what, six? One, two, three, four, five, six? Yeah. I was hoping for more than six uh, types. I mean, that's a lot on the art team, right? But in theory, what the art team does is if you look closely, they make a cluster, right? And then they take that cluster and they click copy, paste, and they put in the second cluster. And the third one, and the fourth one, and the fifth one, and the sixth one, and the seventh one, and they just keep going. And maybe they, maybe they drop a layer or two, but it looks like they didn't when they did this. It looks like they perfectly copy pasted it. So at the same time, it kind of isn't as much work. Now, if they did every single one by hand without copy paste, yes, that would be too much to ask. But at least a few more would have been nice. Mostly because we do have all the beds. Even if they made like all the beds different. Like, let's say only white flowers there, and purple flowers here, and blue flowers there, and pink flowers there. You know, just 
to make it like distinct that it was all one flower. Instead, they went for the let's go for a rainbowy look, which is fine too, but I, I was hoping to like notice a lot of different flowers. I feel slightly mm, not scorned, not spurned, slightly disappointed. Sorry, what did you say again? Oh, right, can't wait to hear my thoughts of anyone, or of everyone's. <laughs> I'm gonna go up what looks to be a tower over there. <gasps> Giant shaman! Wait. Giant shaman! Damn, you're not even a hunt. You're just a big baby. Oh, I love him. I'm pretty sure I have that in here. What is it? What are you called? Megaboids? Megabidus? Lamo? No, I, I'm pretty sure the minion is called. Something like that? Uh, no, 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 wait. Esh, Esh. Esh? Oh, frick, I've forgotten the name. Um. I cannot find it. Where are you? I'm pretty sure I have it. Where are you? Don't look at the number, okay? Don't, 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 don't comment about that neither. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> Echivore, that's it. It was E C H. I was like, uh, and then I pronounced it wrong, so I was thinking Ash instead of Edge. <sighs> Threw myself, but yeah. The little baby. The little baby. So if you want that guy, he he is a minion. Go for him. I want to say it was a Shadowbringers minion, but I don't remember. I mean, he is looped in with a couple of Shadowbringers minions here. To be fair, that doesn't mean a whole lot, because there's an Endwalker, or not Endwalker, I'm sorry. Um, actually, there is an Endwalker minion right here, and then this is a Dawn Trail minion, so that doesn't say a lot, <laughs> unfortunately. I have Drippy? When did I get Drippy? Oh, I think somebody gave me Drippy. Well, this makes me want to round it up to 400. But, you know, once I finish Dawn Trail, I can get all of the minions, and mounts, and all the other goodies that I am missing currently. But in order to do that, I have to finish Dawn Trail, so I guess I better move. <laughs> Ooh, I like this. I really like nature areas. I mean, my character's home is Gridania. In spirit, my home is Gridania as well, let's be honest. In real life, I'm not so good with plants. I I do not have a green thumb. I'm not the bestest at taking care of them. I never know how much water a plant needs or the like. So in real life, nah. But in games, yeah, for sure, for sure. That's kind of how I supplement it. I get to enjoy them in uh, in games since I'm not so good with them in real life. I pout. I wish I was better with them, and maybe eventually I'll try to, again. I mean, I've never tried to grow, um, I was gonna say plants, but that doesn't work. I want, uh, vegetables. I wanna try growing vegetables. And some of those are a lot sturdier than, say, a rose that gets little sunlight, because I don't have anywhere to put it in the sunlight, <laughs> which has not helped me with my battle. But you know, maybe one day I can try again, and uh, with with plants that are better suited for indoor with um, little sun, little amount of sun and stuff. I'm sure there's a type of plant that's not a cactus. Oh my god, you're a baby! Uh, that's not a cactus, because I'm not really looking for a cactus. Oh, a succulent is basic. Well, yeah, no, it's in the cacti family, you know? Yeah, I think so. I'm pretty sure. I can try a succulent then. Oh, but that one you barely interact with. That's not really what I'm going for. I want to interact with the plant. I just don't want to interact with it in a way that kills it, you know? <laughs> I don't know. Something for me to think of. I do want to try growing vegetables, though, for sure. Homemade vegetables sound yum. Every now and again, um, there's farmer markets in, like, the summer and stuff, especially. Well, outdoor farmer markets. 
And it's like small fields that uh, people privately own and stuff. Um, and they'll sell it there and they always taste so good, you know? So I wanna try, I wanna try. Little home garden. Maybe like, oh, you know what's easy to grow? Um, shoot, was it chives or green onions? I think both. Yeah. That was, I did try growing one of those before because basically you take the roots of the plant after you get it in, um, after you pick it up <clears throat> in whatever market you go for. It's also got those little roots at the end. If you stick the bulb part, the bottom part, the white part into water, it'll just keep growing. And I have done that before, but I didn't maintain it well enough, so I only got a few uses out of it. But I'd love to do that one at least again. That one was easy. I forgot about that one. 423 young for the Northwest. Okay. I refuse to trample the plants with my bike. If I pick them out, it'll be my umbrella. My umbrella. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Yo, someone, someone get that guy! Oh my god, these are conserved flowers. My dude, that's illegal. I cannot believe they just did that right in front of me after I said I didn't want to trample them. Oh my god, it's that timing. Goodness, by the 12. I cannot believe this. I feel like a true betrayal has happened. I don't mind walking and running among them though. I like seeing the how they move and stuff. That's fine. But I'm not gonna straight up trample them with a bike. That's insane. I cannot believe I saw that. Mr. Officer! That one. He's the villain. Hmm? Specimen observing endless. Okay. Let's a chat. Oh, hello there. What am I doing, you ask? I wonder why they made these last few quests level 100 instead of 99. <laughs> I'm just saying that because, like, people like to absorb as much XP as possible, so they'll level, like, a second class or something, right? Not everybody's gonna get to level 100, depending on how many classes they split it off between. Or they'll have way too many because, like, you know, some people have FCs which have heat of battle, and it makes it so you get a lot of XP all the time, right? So I'm just wondering, why why make it so there's less quests to get XP from at the end? Maybe so they don't have to think about it so hard, and they can just stay in the zone? I don't know. Oh well, I'm just curious. Oh, hello there. What am I doing, you ask? Look up the trunk. See the plants with thin capsules? Huh? Those things? Or... Huh. I'm not sure. I guess it's supposed to be an artificial trunk or something. Um, these are species that either can't survive in Wind's Path Gardens, or would become invasive and disrupt the ecosystem. Oh, okay. The capsules recreate the conditions they require, from tropical to frigid climes, while keeping them isolated. Fair. In this way, any and all plant life can be preserved forever. Just like ourselves. Ooh, when I turn off the terminal, are they all gonna die? I mean, they said they were transported there. Transplanted there, rather. So maybe they'll live. But no one will be here to tend them, so they'll die anyway. Oh. Maybe we could transport some of them to the source first? Maybe put them in Everkeep so that they still live? So that there's like a physical part of Alexandria still there, maybe? I mean, they do have some of the trees there anyway, so surely we can at least incorporate some of these flowers. Right? Okay, well now I'm not thinking like an adventurer, but I'm thinking like a gardener. <laughs> um, just like ourselves. Oh, okay. I've been observing the plants for decades now. <laughs> They're like children to me. Aw, that's sweet. 
like this floor. Pretty. Not biased, I swear. Or should I go like green or something? Weird. <laughs> Observation. Point again. Soup! <laughs> go ahead, comment about it. You see a creature wandering about that resembles a tree that's native to the Twelves Wood. Truth! And was in Lakeland, but with purple flowers. Why didn't we say that? Why didn't we say that? Why didn't we say that? Blah, 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 blah. Timberman! <laughs> the newest superheroes in. Timberman. Not to be confused with Timberland. Oh, my references. Okay. I love these trees. Ironically. The flower garden appears to be meticulously maintained. If not by endless, then by machines. Oh, thank goodness. The flowers will persevere! Woohoo! Even when I murder everyone. Damn. Sad. Water watch it. Can I go in it? Oh, yes. You guys let me go in water, but you won't let me go in into lava? That's that's messed up. Get it. That's logical. Ree. But I want to play in lava. <laughs> Don't mind me. Hello, ma'am. Did you know that even the water here is created using electro? Oh, sad. The initial product is too pure, though, and adjustments have been made so the composition resembles what's found in the natural environment. Oh. So this area is basically... the flora and fauna of their world. Not so much a focus on the people, but rather the land. Okay. I like it. <laughs> That's just one of the many things they do to create the ideal conditions for these plants to thrive. I don't know what's become of the world outside the barrier. Right, they're still in a barrier. That's the second time they've mentioned the barrier since getting here to, uh, to the um, unend uh, living memory. So I'm wondering what's outside the barrier and if we'll explore that, because I really want to explore that. I'm just saying. What? Anyway. I don't know what's become of the world outside the barrier, but I should like to visit a lovely spot such as this in real life. Speaking of lovely spots, have you been to the top of this lookout here? It's a great vantage point, and there's even a food stall in case you're hungry. Oh, thank you. You're very nice. Thank you. There's real fish here, by the way. Oh, frick. Fishing hole. No! Refuse. No. <laughs> I'm kidding. We're allowed to catch some, but I'd rather just watch them. That means it's a fishing pool. It's gonna be some rare fish in there. Just watch. Huh? Uh... Round and round I go. Where I stop? God, I wish I knew. So pretty. So they did have actual elect- like, electrically made trees- or, no, um, artificial trees. The ones outside weren't, but these ones most certainly are. I still want to know what killed Kafkia. What? Nothing. Oh, you're not? Let me get this real quick. Basil! I mean, Basil! I mean, Basil! Don't worry about it. Anyway, Basil! 
that is a person. I was like, oh, a Sire. Not. Ask your father, love. I'm brainstorming at the moment. Ick. Well, father? I'm on the cusp of a breakthrough. Why not ask your mother? Oof. Well, mother, may I have ice cream? Lamau. He is speed itself, though. Look at that. I don't know how he has that much energy. That's insane. Oh, yeah, there's gonna be stuff to collect here, isn't there? For gathering, I mean. Other than fishing. Other than fishing. After purchasing refreshments, you're free to sit at one of our tables if you like. Or you can simply take it with you if you prefer. He is as green as Basil. Greener, even. Honestly. I like that his name is Basil and uh, he's in the nature area. Since uh, Basil's a herb. Basil is an herb. I swear. I don't worry about it, okay? How I pronounce things is how I pronounce things, I guess. I'm broken. <laughs> I like how there's like a little tree coming out the middle. It's, it's like a fake tree with ivies on it, and then a real tree just peeks out the middle. <laughs> That's great. I love that. It's funny. Um. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Wah. Wait. Wait, no. This isn't... It wasn't supposed to be like that. Oh, God. I'm doing this horrible. Oh, hey, it worked. Oh, no, it's behind it. Oh, well, that makes more sense, but... I mean... My way's funnier. Wait, how do I... Uh, that's gonna make me sick. Hold on. That you didn't know you could do this. That's right. You can move your G pose. No, 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 no. Unless. You can use. No, no. I broke it. I broke it. Oh. No, 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 no. You can move your G, G pose around if you eh, do it right. I didn't say it was easy. I said you could do it if you do it right. Oh my god. I'm struggling here. Oh, it's that tree from before. No, 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 no. Focus on, focus on. Okay, it's everywhere here. Okay. I love their little thunder trees. It's pretty. Free me from this hell. <laughs> Don't mind me. Oh. Huh? My ancestors aren't actually Alexandrian, but hailed from a place called Conde Petit. They had some unique customs there. For instance, when greeting someone, you had to say Lali Ho in a spirited manner. Why? How did that get there? How did it get there? What? Our settlement was also famous for a gigantic tree that grew nearby. It was so enormous that when you stood at its base, the roots covering the ground went beyond the horizon. Damn. The terminal here at Windspath Gardens is apparently inspired by that very tree. The Leafa tree, it, its name was. Oh, my reference. Okay. It may not be real, but it's nice to have it as a memento for posterity. one thing I dislike, that if you jump into water, you take the same amount of damage as if you just landed on a uh, solid ground. I feel like the water should lessen your blow, at least. Oops. Okay, that's good enough for right now, I think. And then I'll follow the quest, and it'll probably take me here, 
and there might be a quest that moves me over here, I don't know. That's part of why I did that just now, that way I can get the XP on a class that actually needs XP and not my level 100. Which again, I find it a little weird they didn't... They did that this way. I mean, it's fine. I don't care, technically, but... Um, there are definitely some who might. I will move. <laughs> I know that I'm going to be leveling most of my classes via, um, well, no, all my classes except Bard, via, um, roulettes anyway. Oh, there's multiple people here. Sheesh. We're all about to be absolute gamers and finish on trail. Wait, no raw? I'm surprised. Ah, people. For half a second I forgot they were there. Ah. Hello, forgiven hate. Oh! Damn, it just unlocked the secret of the universe right before our eyes. Oh my god. I'm kidding, but that was great timing. While the arboretums of Charleian imitate natural environments, this place has the feel of an exhibit. In that sense, the word gardens does suit it well. That's fair. You know, over here, maybe? You're very cute, Chocobo. How'd you know I spoke to you? You're cute. That's all I wanted to say. Okay. <laughs> there was a beast I had never seen before. Was there? Oh my gods, I need to know. Cutscene. Ooh, uh uh. Hi! I'm back. Ah, welcome back. Kral has just delivered to me a most fascinating report. You have some engaging impressions to share too, I hope. Well, well, that is all very interesting indeed, but I must say, I am most fascinated by the ambulating trees. Ambulating trees, okay. While there are similar creatures in Urgopacha, could you tell me more about these treants as you know them? Sure. Oh, wow, you're gonna make me actually say it. Nice. Uh, there are various sub <laughs> They like to hurl acorns at you. Exploding ones. Yeah, that's true. That's very true. There are various subspecies, such as those with red leaves or a gnarled look. Yeah. Yeah, even in, uh, what, the North Stroud? Over by Fogord Float? There's that, like, f kind of fall-looking area. Or I guess not fall. No, that one's still green, isn't it? That one's still green. It's been a while. No, I'm thinking... I'm thinking the ones with no leaves, I think. Well, no, there's those two. There should be a fairy ant in the forever, like, forever fall type woods. The ones in Alamigo? The ones by the the first Horta place or other. By the bridge! Basically, the first area of Stormblood. The first, um, Alamigan area. The one that borders Gridan er, um, Shroud slash Gridanian land. Anyway. Yeah, there, we've seen a couple. And again, the one from the first, and yeah. Anyway. They're native to the Twelve Sword where they prey upon even wolves. Yeah, they're, they're little shits, I'm not gonna lie to you. We're gonna go with their various subspecies, such as those with red leaves or an old look. 
<laughs> oh my gosh, look at me. I look like a teacher. Is that so? Though it makes sense they would adapt to their environment in that fashion, I imagine they need careful management to flourish, such as having specific varieties of trees around them. Probably. The management of ecosystems? That calls to mind Labyrinthos, does it not? True. That it does. Ow. My teacup's bullying me! I hit my tool. My depth perception is not the best just at all times. Sometimes I miss. <laughs> It's not a perfect science for me. <laughs> Lest you wonder, Labyrinthos is a storage facility deep beneath Charleian that contains a recreation of a temperament... Oh, a temperate climate zone. Such a place exists! Oh, amazing. By the by, did anyone else also catch sight of a large scalekin? No. A large scale can you say? What does it look like? Oh wait, yeah I did in that one fate. It was a scorpion though. In a non-fate, I don't think I did. Nothing I've seen before. But it has a rodent-like form and walks on all fours. Huh? Rodent-like form? Reptilian? Box on all fours? <gasps> it wasn't an armadillo, was it? Why is that what comes to mind? But that's not reptilian enough. I mean, it, it does have scales. I don't think that's reptilian enough. Shoot, I don't know. Tell me more. Oh, do you mean the, the Eschivor? Eschivor? Yeah, I saw that on the first... You've never been there. Never. Anyway. If it looks like a rodent, wouldn't that make it a beastkin? No, it's covered in scales. Once appear. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He does mean the Eschiff. Yay! I swear. <laughs> I don't think that was weird because I've seen it before. Anyway. <clears throat> no, it's covered in scales. Ones, appear er, ones that appear to mimic succulent plants. By that, I would definitely classify it as a scalekin. This is definitely a bonding moment for them. Well, it's hard to say for certain without seeing it. Why don't you show me? <sighs> Very well. It was in a flower field earlier and should still be near. I know where it is. Hmm? Let's head over there then. When we find it, we'll see who's right. <laughs> The two of you should come along, too, and lend us your opinions. It might actually be a beast, Ken. Go on ahead. I'll let the others know and then join you. Thank you. I wonder, which one is it classified as? Hold on. <laughs> Let's see. The scales on this critter's back are arranged in such a way as to put one in mind of the succulent Echeveria. Lying concealed in tall grass, it lures insects with its tail, which secretes a sweet tasting fluid akin to nectar. I shall enjoy. S what? Oh god. How did I do my new mo voice again? I shall enjoy sucking on its tail for that sweet, sweet nectar taste. <laughs> oh god. Sometimes I'm still surprised I can do that. Ooh. It's kind of up in the air, though. But scale can usually and traditionally have scales on their face as well and cover even their. I think softer scales on the belly, just like a real one. Um, but still on their belly. 
Um, so in this case, it's bee skin, I would say. Not that I would know that, because that would make me a nerd. So anyway. Team Green! We're a different kind of Team Green than me and Koana, but we're a Team Green nonetheless. I love it. Love to see it. <laughs> I keep telling you guys, you gotta go green. <laughs> the joke. It's too easy to make. <laughs> This is the area. The beast didn't give the impression that it moves frequently. Maybe it's not what I think though? <laughs> this is so exciting. Come on. <clears throat> Sorry. Come on and help us find the creature. Ooh, still getting used to her voice. Dooby dooby doo. Oh no, it's happening again. Get out of my brain! It's stuck in my head. In your head. In your head. Zombie. What? No, it is the little baby. You're a beast king. You're basically a hedgehog. And a hedgehog is not, in fact, a reptile. Tis a mammal! Okay, actually, you're more like the pangolin. Oh. Wait a minute. Penguins? Mammals? They should be. Aren't they basically a cousin of the hedgehog? Wait a minute. I said pen. I meant pan. Pangolin? Pan pangolin? Yes? Anyway. You spot a beast resembling the etchivore you encountered in the first. I know. Hee <laughs> hee. That's the one over there. I see, I see. At a glance, it certainly has the look of both Scalekin and Beastkin. Let's examine it more co- Oh, I knew they were gonna do this to me. No, not this mechanic again. Blah. Can I just take out my minion and have you guys observe it up close? And it'll be friendly and you can poke at its belly and boop at its nose. No? Ah, well, I tried. <laughs> Let's examine it more closely, shall we? Tell me your observations. Okay. Cow snoop. Oh, I don't have to do the mechanic. Hey, hey. It's a pointy snout and deaf little paws and covered in plant like scales. Um, I'm gonna say it has deaf little paws. It does have a pointy snout. It's not too pointy, though. It does have plant like scales. Deaf little paws. Indeed, such forelimbs would be well suited to holding nuts and berries and the like. Be skin it is. Oh my god, you chased your tail. That's adorable. No, don't move. We're observing you. Having studied it. <laughs> Having studied it, I believe that the scales upon its back are in fact a unique form of hide. Rather than being shed, it grows with the creature. Oh, fair. Hmm. You may be right. If we consider that along with its other characteristics, such as its face and its hands, it's more likely to be a beastkin like you said. Yes! I win! Woohoo! Uh, not, not that I'm a nerd enough to know that up the top of my head or anything. <laughs> okay. Beastkin are basically mammals and scalekin are basically reptiles. That's the easy way to figure it out. But there's also seedkin. Those are plant based. Er, uh, yeah, those are more plant based. I think, wait. Oh, I see what you did there, Brain. A nutkin is a, is a little beast. Is it a squirrel? There's also seedkin though. Those are like, oh god, I cannot think of a, an example off the top of my head. And then there's cloudkin. What other kinds of kin are there again? Oh shoot. 
anyway, it's basically their their system for the animal kingdom versus our system for the animal kingdom. And you can usually find a one-to-one. -one. Usually. Usually. <laughs> a physical examination would <clears throat> would be needed to confirm this beyond doubt. But I'm simply er but I'm satisfied simply to have seen it. Fair enough. It seems you alone were familiar with the species. Where did you encounter it? Uh... In another reflection? <laughs> the fairy kingdom of the first? <laughs> she has been to the very edge of existence. She has seen life that others... <laughs> she has seen life that others could only imagine. Truth. Me looking at the Aya. And my jellyfish mount, like, literally, the jellyfish mount were pretty much thought into existence by the Aya. Great example of things only I've seen. Well, and the science, but, you know. Yeah, there's there's some shit, you know? Actually, I've probably seen the jellyfish. They wouldn't have. Only I would have, because, um, tribe. Society? Allied society? They're called now, I guess? Whatever. Anyway, uh, through the Endwalker tribe allied society thing. Ugh, it's getting more confusing. Stop. Anyway. <laughs> through those quests, I obtained the jellyfish mount. I'm not going to tell you how. Well, I mean, I guess it totally has to do with Aya, but. That's all you get. <laughs> That's all you get. <laughs> I don't want to get too in detail. Anyway. Amazing. Creation truly holds no end of mysteries. Truth. Oh, how I'd love to see them all. The light beyond the bounds of our star and playing both. True. They were good. Aw. Looks like we're having fun. Hearing about unknown, er, <clears throat> hearing about the unknown never fails to rouse me. I felt the same way when Ketanram and Galuf treated me to tales of their travels. You've met my grandfather too. Oh, didn't I already mention it? It was when Galuf came to Tural to investigate the Golden City. Happened to have business with Gul Jaja, so we met in Tuliolo. What the fuck, but no! Yes, yes. Aww, it was when he came back and had baby Quayle. Little did I know that the tiny babe he was cra cradling would return as you. That's fair. To think that our paths had already crossed all these years ago. All those years ago? I think that would be the proper English. You might have a typo there. That might be crazy. Not only yours and mine, Neshpia was there too, you know? I don't remember. Uh. It's quite fine if you don't! <laughs> It was actually... <clears throat> it was actually because Galif told me about Charleyan that I later urged Elinespia to take up gleaning. My fussy bun-bun was growing up dour and withdrawn, and it was... <laughs> and it was when I was at my wit's end that I recalled your grandfather's story about gleaners. Seeing the world through their adventures would inspire a change for the better, I believed. I'm sorry I was dour and withdrawn. If you ask me, you still have some work to do. <laughs> but it's because you're that way that you're with us now, and I, for one, am grateful. Aww. 
Well, let's keep moving, shall we? Yes, some. There's a facility I've been wanting to visit. The Clara Museum of Nature. They're supposed to have creatures that take you on a leisure flight. Oh. Oh, my bad. That's that take you on leisure flights. There we go. I can talk. There's just one problem. It seems only three people can fly at one time. Then you and Aaronville should go. The rest of us still have plenty of other things we can do here. Cute. <laughs> I knew he was gonna invite me. <laughs> if there's room for one more, why don't you come with us? Okay. <laughs> He's like, don't leave me alone with mother, please. It'll be awkward. And then it's settled. The museum is at the bottom of the ramp that runs west of... Laynode Arrow. Come on. She's probably more of a, come on. You know. Like with the energy behind the words, I mean. Ooh, blue footed Bobby. I know, it's Bobby. Blue footed Bobby. Oh, it fly. Oh. All this time, my grandfather was the common thread between us. Truth. Do not mind us and just enjoy yourselves. I kind of guess this would happen a little bit, didn't I? Nice. Do not mind us and just enjoy yourselves. We shall explore a little more and then make our way to the terminal. Okay. Look after Aaronville for me. Of course. Why wouldn't I? So good. T save me. The word save me can branch off into so many songs. So, so many. A song by uh, called Save Me. I think that's the one I'm thinking of. You know what? While I'm running this path, I can totally look at Spotify. Hold on. Uh, yeah, Save Me by Omri. Nice. What's that? Oh yeah, we briefly saw that when we got here, huh? Ooh. What the wheel doing? <laughs> that that building's making me think that's the belly, and then I'm like, oh yeah, that's orca like, and then I'm like, no, no, stupid, that's a building. <laughs> it's the whale. Ah. Oh whale. <laughs> My puns cannot be stopped. You'll never take me alive. <laughs> My references can't be stopped either. Get wrecked. Oh, <laughs> it's staring at me. No, big guy. This head. Translation be gone, creature. <laughs> what do you mean, Bernie Cobb? Oh, right. It's so leash. Er, he's the leash, not it? It is still trying to follow me. Bruh. Bruh. Man, okay. I almost missed the entire ramp. I was close. Don't. I'll fight you. Well, well, well. Here we are.
can't really tell what's supposed to be on that screen. It's a little too blurry for me, honestly. It kind of looks like it could be the whale. It could also be a turtle. Not so good with the things like this. But this this one's a plant. It hurts my eyes severely. I we're back to the tech that I don't like. <sighs> Technology nowadays, it just hurts the eyes. Okay, I'm done trying to look at it. Th that hurts. I'm done. I'm done. Anyway. Is there an ether current nearby? Northwest. Okay. Oh. Aw, this one's not gonna have music afterwards either. Damn. What? Wait a minute. Don't do it. It looks deep enough to dive into, but I'm not diving. I'm just jumping. Oh. I'm pressing the wrong button anyway. It looks too small, and yet it looks deep enough. It's weird. Okay. <laughs> Northeast. I went too far. Oh no. Imagine if I could. That would be so cool if I just stayed on the top of the water. I'm just saying. <laughs> anyway. Northeast. It's not on that upper path, is it? That'll be kind of awkward, huh? East. It, it's on this building, isn't it? That was my other guess. I hear a... Buzzing? Oh, it's a tree! That makes sense! I didn't notice that before. Oh, probably because the other trees were too tall. This one's like... Well, it's not exactly small, but it's not so far away that I can't hear the buzzing. Interesting. So that tree was already a thing in their world, is what we're seeing. Okay. There it is on top of it. How did I know? I wish I could tell what those stupid images are supposed to be. God, it hurts so much to look at those. I don't like that deck. Oh. <laughs> He's telling him to get down before he falls. The kid's like, no, I got this. I got this. Oh, no, I hit the robot. Ow. Nice. Okay. <gasps> Copybara, Copybara! Capybara, capybara. <laughs> capybara, capybara. Oops. Hello there. Come to ride the Mewapuras, have you? Mewapuras? Mewapura? Piars? Pia? Pia? Huh. Mewapuras? I don't know how to say that. Anyway. Oh. Me. Wap. Yaras, maybe? Have you? <clears throat> it does look the part, this museum. I must say I'm curious what's inside. Fair. Actually, can I go inside? They host... Or, they have a host of rare specimens here. I <laughs> I just thought about Tataru and uh, Wedge. It's it's mostly this haircut. This is just like Wedge, and Tataru has had this hairstyle before. Oh, uh, I can't go in. That's stinky. I severely cannot tell what that's supposed to be. It looks like a long neck. 
I don't. It hurts my eyes. I can't. <clears throat> Can we go back to the area? You know, all of this that doesn't have that tech versus, you know, Everkeep that does severely have that tech. Um. <laughs> anyway. Here it is. The Clara Museum of Nature. The main building is closed due to the ether shortage, but happily, they're still offering leisure flights. Hmm. And these are the fellows that will bear us. How adorable. You're right. They are precious. They do beans. Okay. <laughs> They don't look capable of flight. <laughs> Come now, you know better than to judge a creature by its appearance. This will be great, I just know it. Hmm. In search of this skull. I know one shouldn't judge by appearance, but still. No, you're right, they don't have wings or anything that indicates, hey, look at me, I can fly. To be honest, um, we can just randomly use any mount to fly. Maybe that earring on their ear is a magical charm to help them fly. Or maybe that rug is a magic carpet. You just don't know it. They're so cute. They look so fluffy. I want to pet it. I want to keep it. Anyway, <clears throat> this <laughs> distracted by the fluffy. Oh, he says the same thing. And we just have the little ones that were like this. These are the big ones. Very good. Oh, uh, oh. That's why there were two blue quests in the last one, huh? That makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Damn. Over already, huh? Hmm. Alright. A journey never ending. Kafkiwa is ready to take to the sky on Muap Piara back. I tried. <laughs> I'm begging your pardon, but this is where you can go on leisure flights, yes? Indeed it is. Bearing you will be our adorable Muap Piaras, who are specially trained by a Tirali friend. So that is why they have that name. Okay, very good. I was like, that is a Tirali name. Otherwise, it's weird. But, okay. Um, specially trained by a Tirali friend. So there was Tirali re relevance here. Interesting. Very. Just say the word, and we'll send you up, up, and away. Up, up, and away! Huh? <laughs> And there you have it. Shall we then? Um. It seems I'll have to trust a theory of ancestral levitation predisposition. Uh, disposition. I'm sorry, what? Also, somebody's on top of me. Uh, well, they're, they're mount ones. Still low. Uh. He got a mustache and a hat. Looks like he might mug you. Be careful of that Lala. He's sus. I'm kidding. <laughs> it seems I'll have to trust the theory of ancestral levitation predisposition. Hmm? Levitational predisposition. Disposition. Okay. In case you are unfamiliar, the theory holds that all life forms have an innate capacity for levitational magics. Okay. While said magics generally remain latent, they may manifest in the ability to fly. Oh, okay. Is that how we explain being able to fly with any mount? Just wondering. My guess is that the Mewapyaras themselves cannot fly, but rather their saddles are imbued with levitation magics. Oh, that's fair. Hey, wait, that's what I said. 
<laughs> you are ready then? Then go ahead and mount up. The Melpiaras fly a set route, so you need only relax and enjoy the view. Thank you. Yep, yep. Make the goal. Exhilarating. I'll be damned. They really do fly. Hey, the way we're flying in formation. Don't we look like migrating birds? Except we're on giant rodents. True. Speaking of migrating birds, the mallard is where your name comes from. Did I ever tell you that? That I knew. But I learned it from the shamaness, not from you. A migrating bird can fly anywhere it desires, even across oceans to distant continents. And you've just and you've done just that, my clever mallard. I was wondering if we would get to see that. I'd thank you not to call me that. I was wondering if we get to know what his name was, um, or what his name meant. And now we have. Yay! Oh dear, is it over already? The time really does fly when you have fun. What a joy to see living memory from up high. Mm. He's like, thanks for reminding me, Mom. Up dipa. Cut scene. Ah ah. That was wonderful! An experience worth saving for the very end. You two enjoyed yourselves as well, I trust. It was enjoyable enough, I suppose. From my fussy bun bun, that's high praise. I'm glad I invited you and her. Thank you for indulging me. Mm. If I could, I'd go for another hundred rides, but I must settle for one. Er, for the one, rather. It's time we headed to the Arrow Terminal. Aww. If there are still things you wish to do, you'll want to do them. You'll want to do them now. When you're ready, make your way along the path yonder. I'll find the others and let them know the same. <sighs> Have a proper talk, you two. Damn. <laughs> You two are so stubborn. She's only a facsimile constructed from her memories. I understand this. But when she's right there, as alive and spirited as I've ever known her, how am I supposed to do it? How am I supposed to erase her? Yeah. Does she even know that it tears me apart? Aww. Scream it at her. Pick up a fuss, you fussy little bun bun. Don't give me a look. Because Lord knows he would give me a look for that one. <laughs> ah. Just one more ether crown. Ooh, a wind spirit. Very good. Hmm. 
Don't do it. Don't aggro to me. It didn't. Very good. Okay, not that. The first person's kind of throwing me, but I get motion sickness, so that makes sense. Huh. This is a wonderful color scheme, don't you think? I certainly like it, at least. Weird. It's very pretty. Very, very fits the thing. Hmm. Alright. This kind of is my character's color scheme, though. The path that I'm on. And that's a pretty color scheme, too. The darker greens with the lighter greens. <laughs> anyway. Oh, right. I love that it's a tree. Well, you know. Not a living, breathing tree, but a tree. Or maybe I should say living carbon monoxide eating tree. Kind of makes it so we can breathe, not the other way around. <laughs> Nature's great. You should be nice to it. <clears throat> it will be hard, but let us set off Kafkiwa. Oh, sorry. Let us send off Kafkiwa with a smile. Wait, I said that wrong still. It will be hard, but let us send Kafkiwa off with a smile. Wait, no. No, I didn't say it wrong last night. I'm so confused. Anyway, I feel like I've worded it three different ways, but also like I only said it one way. Aww. It's not fair. No, it's not. But death never is. <sighs> Sad. We saw you from below. It looked like you were having fun. Yeah, you guys should try it real quick before we... You know. Say goodbye. <gasps> we'll be there for Aaronville. Always. Always. I wish they weren't standing right in front of the shortest member of the party. Scree! <sighs> anyway. Cutscene time. Please be voiced. Please be voiced. Please be voiced. Ah, bless. How delightful this has been. Not since my journey with the Dawn Serpent have I enjoyed myself so. No, I'm selling it short. This was even better. Aww. And that's because I was able to share this adventure with my darling boy. Aww. Well, this is as far as I can go. No. As for the rest, just Three. stop. You're doing it again. Deciding everything by yourself, and then. Disappearing. Aww. Ellen Espia, you're my pupil, so you ought to understand. Everything that lives must one day die, and that which has died isn't meant to return. This is the way of nature. Uh, yeah. But you can at least have some words with him before you go. Sheesh. Proper words. Proper heart-to-heart -heart words. Mine is an unnatural existence, and I've suffered it only because I had to unmake this twisted mausoleum. Mm. But now that brave souls have appeared to whom I might entrust my mission, I may finally embrace the end. Aww. Can't you be happy for me? Hmm. That's a hard ask. How 
could I be happy? Aww. I was actually quite scared, you see. Oh? Scared that I'd be trapped inside the barrier forever and denied the thrill of discovery for all my days. Aww. Your coming gave me courage and comfort, Ellen Eshpia. More than you know. Aww. And now here I stand, unburdened and free. In this moment, the happiest of my life. Aww. Oh, this is rough. And those feelings will live on, or this is something only you can do? Um... And those feelings will live on. As you wish, Mother. I'll continue what you began. Aww. You can do it, Arendville. I believe in you. You were right, of course. Leaving home has broadened my horizons. I've met my friends Aww. and found this place. Hmm. He's acknowledged us as friends. Yay! <laughs> So, I bid you leave your dreams with me. Aww. And no, I'll go where you couldn't go. Aww. And do what you couldn't do. I will. Oh, this hurts. I'm proud of him, though. Look at you. All grown up and dependable. <laughs> what? Good enough. Yet with so much more ahead. A world of experiences await you, each a lesson of its own. And I hope you continue to hang out with us. <laughs> You may know failure and burning regret, but these two shall become beacons to guide you. So come what may, hold your head high and carry on with conviction. Those are good words to live by, honestly. And wherever your journeys take you, keep me close to your heart, will you? Aww. I should like to be there to see what I haven't seen. Aww. You will be, Mother. Aww. rough now run along and never forget that you're my pride and joy Aww. damn they're really hitting me here <laughs> 
I trust you all can handle the rest? Yep. Take care. And farewell. Farewell. Rather, rest well. Good night to you as well, Kafkiwa. Oh, man. Emotions, no! Go away! Oh, he is? Or... Aww. Oh, man. Hi, Kapkiwa. I couldn't have asked for more fulfilling final hours than these. Hmm. I'm so happy to have met you. You and everyone. Thank you for the memories. And thank you for watching over my Elenespia. He'll be fine. I know it. Oh, sorry. He'll be fine now. I know it. There we go. Aw. Bye, Kafkua. You will be missed. Ooh. Damn. They're really not going easy here. <clears throat> no more doubts. I will shut down the terminal. I will shut the terminal down. I had a feeling you'd say that. Let's see our task. <clears throat> oh God, too many feels. Hard voice act. Sorry. Three. Let's see our task through to the end. Hmm. We carry on with the hopes and memories in our heart. Yep. Oh god, pain. <laughs> pain. Oops. Okay, let's do this. We'll leave this to you, Aaronville. I... I won't waver. Not anymore. If you're ready yourselves, then so am I. <sighs> yeah, I know it'll all go away and I'll be sad, but I gotta do it. I kind of wish I could enjoy it more, but alas, it is what it is. Besides, most of the flora was repeats of each other.
That makes all of them. And hey, look, most of the greenery lived because it was transplanted and not digital. Nice. All that remains is to wait for the meso terminal to become vulnerable when it's about to initiate fusion. Mm. And then we strike. Mm -hmm. God, that hurt. Anyway. Oh, the flowers were real there too in the gondola. Oh. Oh. Looks like we don't have to wait long, huh? Please be advised, we are entering the final phase of world bridging. Repeat, we are entering the final phase of world bridging. That's just a little loud. Anyway. The ether of all residents will shortly be replenished. Be at ease. No action on your part is required. We thank you for your patience. Too bad they're all kind of gone now. <laughs> Wait, it's already begun? And before we helped. That would suck. I highly doubt this helps, though, to be fair. Oh, gosh. We won't let cough cures. Hopes be in vain. <clears throat> no time for tears. Just as well. Mm. Speak for yourself. Actually. Meh. Let us finish this. <coughs> Let us finish this. Uh, okay, yeah, no, that's. Mm. Voice actor problems, don't mind me. Not a moment too soon. It's as if she's. It's as if she's saying she won't let us do it as we please anymore. Oh my god, I can talk. Through our time here, we've come to know what it is Sphine seeks to protect. Oh god, I said that weird. But that doesn't change what we have to do. A journey never ending. Oh, never ending story. I see what you did there. <laughs> never ending story. Ah. It's actually a wonderful song. It's up to you whether you like the movie or not, but this song's pretty good. I mean, it's your opinion either way, but like... Well, watch the movie. You'll see what I mean, I think. <laughs> It's unique. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Frequent Flyer 5. Wee! I can fly! I can fly! Too bad it's after everything has died. Oh, but I can quit my map real quick. I suppose. Okay, I said real quick, but the areas are quite, kind of, ah, uh, kind of far away. I'm a little tongue-tied. Okay, maybe I should hold off on that one. I'll probably do that off recording then. Hmm. Okay. I have to do a little bleep bloop. A little bleep bloop. So we're gonna bleep here. Um, another reminder to take care of yourself. Hydrate, eat, stretch, take vitamins, medicine. Get some sleep, all that good stuff. Hokey dokey. And I will see you at the other side of the bloop, which will be a few moments, and when or and or when you uh unpause the video. Yep, 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 yep. Alright, here we go. Bleep! Why hello there! Guess what? Lulu was a dummy, so she didn't put an outro on this video. Oopsie. But that's okay. That's why I'm here. It's still me. It, I'm Lulu. Yeah, mm-hmm. Hana Lulu. Yeah, you know me. <laughs> 
favorite vampire VTuber who does way too much voice acting. Yeah, that's me. All right, anyway, uh, I hope everyone has a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, depending on where you are in the world. Please be sure to hydrate, to eat, stretch, take vitamins, and medicine, get some sleep if you need to. And of course, be sure to check out my links, uh, like, follow, subscribe, and of course, share my links. All of that helps me. You have no idea how much it helps. Oh, and be sure to leave a comment. Pretty please, pretty, pretty please. Okay? <laughs> Thank you. Have a good night now. Betty bye. Betty bye, Betty bye, Betty 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 bye, Betty bye, Betty 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 bye, Betty bye, Betty bye, Betty 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 bye. Huh? What? Oh, you're still here? Betty bye.